Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny, to the support zone. How are we doing? Welcome back to the Eintracht career mode. We are here today to step into the career mode again and change up the position of this man right here. Goes up to a 77 rating. I want that weak foot to improve. I don't need them skills. And I am full well prepared for today's episode. We are stepping up against the likes of AC Milan in the round of 16 of Europa League football. We can talk about AC Milan as we play against them as well. Been watching loads of their games myself in the past few weeks, and I will share some of my thoughts on them and some of the deals that have already been kind of confirmed with them and their players in this season. So as you guys know, we do all of that stuff. And also, let me move the camera into the top right so you can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. Sorry about that. AC Milan is coming up, obviously. So I'm excited about that one. It is going to be a battle between two teams where I believe they have the better squad. But who knows? The mentality giants that Eintracht Frankfurt have proven to be um, could get it done. So because of that, I think we should jump straight into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. It means a lot to me that you have come in once again for this Eintracht Frankfurt career mode because I am having a great time talking to you guys that are coming into the comments and basically giving us topics to talk about. Now, today's episode will not include comments. Here's the reason why. I am pre-recording this. I'm currently in Netherlands as you're watching this and I'm celebrating my 10-year anniversary with my wife. Not 10 years married, but 10 years since we have been together. So yeah, it is a madness. Anyways, let's dive into it. I'm Chuck Frankfurt. As you guys have seen in the previous episode, we have beaten uh, a couple of decent sides, got a couple of draws as well, beat Dortmund before that, and then got a draw against Bayern Munich, which was a bit unfortunate. We should have won that game, but we didn't. And because of that reason, we are still doing well in the Bundesliga, but not in that first position. They're just one point behind Bayern Munich, stuck there and not being able to challenge them properly. Now against AC Milan, I'm excited, but I also want to see who else is in here. We have Real Sociedad, PSV Eindhoven, Villarreal, Olympique Lyon, uh, Dinamo Kiev, uh, lovely to see a Ukrainian team in here, Napoli, um, Real Betis, Olympique Marseille, Shakhtar against Leverkusen, Gus Tepe against Braga, Sevilla against West Ham. Some good, good opponents there, but I genuinely believe we could have a shot at winning this. I honestly believe so. So let's step into it and see if I'm right or if we're going to fail miserably against Milan already. Here it goes. Let's play it. They have a great lineup with Gomez up top. I hope that's not... Joe Gomez playing striker. That would really suck. Brahim Diaz at Cam. Uh, Tomori, Romagnoli, Hernandez making up a very good defense. Kessie and Ben Nasser in that midfield. No Tonali. Interesting. So here it is. Rafael Santos Borre. Four goals in the last three games. Has done well in the group stages and has become a fan favorite already from what I can see in the comments of the past episodes. I'm excited to have him in a team. Now for today's episode, as I said, since we are playing against AC Milan, let's talk about them because a lot of people that watch my content are very, very much only interested in Premier League football and it clearly shows. But I'm going to tell you about AC Milan and the deals that have happened for them or against them, you could say, in that case as well. Kessie, the CDM that you see right there that has the captain's armband, he has, according to Fabrizio Romano, signed a pre-contract with AC, not AC, FC Barcelona. Yes, Frank Kessia, the Ivory Coast center midfielder slash CDM, is going to be moving over to FC Barcelona to play alongside the likes of Frenkie de Jong and bring in some more defensive stability into that team and bring in some physicality into that spot. Now, I wonder, will he play in the starting lineup? Let me know what you guys think, because at times I have seen Kessie struggle to make it in there over the likes of Tonali, who has done really well, over Ben Acer. Oh my God, that did not just fly in from outside the box against Mike Magnon. We have just scored. 
an unbelievable goal with Rafael Santos Borre. Mate, he is he's becoming my favorite in this career mode for sure. Like, I cannot believe we just scored that. I didn't know he has the long shot ability, does he? Like, I mean, it shows right there. That's like 25 to 30 yards out and he hits it straight in the um, inside of the post. That is such a good finish. The technique on it. The ball doesn't even move. Eintracht take the lead away from home. 1-0. Obviously, away goals don't exist anymore. But still, Rafael, man. You're unbelievable, mate. <laughs> what a player. Anyways, talking about the Barcelona situation and Kessie. Do we think that Kessie will push Busquets onto the bench? I don't see that happening. Like, I really don't. And I think if Kessia wasn't a free agent, do you think Barcelona would have gone for him? Because when I look at Kessia and his style of play, I don't see a Barcelona player there. So I wonder why did Barca go in for him and what's their actual plan and where do they want to play him? I mean, Xavi has been a tactical genius so far so i think he knows exactly what he's doing and i don't so i will just trust xavi and see what happens barcelona is signing ac milan's kessier semi-confirmed i would say good deal let's see what happens with that beautiful arsnes can you shoot as well not as good as my main man but he has now swapped to centimate so he's gonna be more attacking i would assume in our team especially during the simulations arsnes are you left footed no he's right footed for sure that's a terrible shot i need to stop taking shots with him and also so so's long shots have been pretty abysmal salamakers as i watched a bunch of the oh it's maxi gomez up top nice it's not it's the valencia uh striker who's actually sat on a bench over there right now as far as i know and he's quite talented so i wonder what's going to happen with that kid as well um, but here we go. Mele. I have Bore in the center. Kamada at the far post. Not going to happen. But yeah, every time I watch AC Milan and Salamakers plays, I am not impressed by him at all. Like, I genuinely don't think he's good enough. I think he's just going to be a bench warmer at that club. So if he wants to further his career, I think he needs to go somewhere else where he's going to be a starter. Because from what I've seen from AC Milan and I've watched like... I would say I've watched like nearly six full games from AC Milan in the last like two months. Every time I see him play, he just doesn't look the part to me. I, I, I don't think this guy is the one. And when you see Leal on the other side, Rafa Leal, he's on fire, man. He's getting past people. He's showing strength, physicality, good finishing. He's showing sometimes... A little bit of uh, of the egotistical side of himself where he doesn't pass it at the right time but still gets things done for ac milan after all so i think he's great so i wonder if ac milan is going to get someone else onto those wing positions throughout the summer as well because salamakers hasn't really paid off from what i can tell and we need to talk about one specific deal and that deal is the fact that divok origi apparently is very close to signing for AC Milan as a free agent, which is crazy. And here's the thing. Apparently, all throughout his career, Divock Origi has a 0.4 goals per game ratio, which I had no idea about. A so rare content creator named Quinny talked about AC Milan and he brought up that stat and I was like, what? Origi? has scored that many goals, like percentage-wise, that's unreal. That's like a goal every two games type thing. So uh, I really wonder, or is it like, was it like 0 0.4 goals per 90 minutes? I think that might have been the stat because he does get subbed on a lot. So if you combine all those minutes as a substitute, maybe you can look at it that way. The stat is a little bit skewed, but still, that is actually massive. And Origi is only like 26, 27, so... I wonder what he could do at AC Milan. I really, really do. But considering that they have Giroud and Zlatan, I don't see a reason to get him. But then again, I kind of do. I would love to see him play for AC Milan. I think it would be fun. But here he goes. Mele. We're going for the second. Two players at the far post. It's Kamada. He goes for a flying hand at Heather. He's not going to win that. Borre does not win that. But Osnes is ready for it. Bringing it back. 
I have an option there in Lindström. Lindström with a terrible touch. AC Milan defends that one well. 60 minutes in. They haven't had big chances, but they have defended well at times, I gotta say. Ooh, that is quality footy. Oh no, I thought he would shoot. What the? Bro, what is he doing? Who the, was that Maxi Gomez? Who the hell was that? He should have easily scored there. I was on the floor and he just decided, nah, I'm going to do three more skill moves. Let's make him pay. Sessegnon. Sessegnon. Let's make him pay, baby. Come on. 67 minutes into the game. AC Milan missed a huge opportunity. I don't know who the hell that was skilling there, but that guy needs to be fired. His contract needs to be terminated right now. Solid tackle. Oh, come on, referee. You're a joke, pal. The fact that you're giving away free kick there. Salamaker's getting subbed off even in here. He's not good enough. Jens Peter Hauge. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he does still exist. I mean, he he obviously is a, an Eintracht low knee, which is fun because he has gone back. Oh, what a save, Kevin Trapp. Let's go. So obviously we had him in this career mode, but he has gone back. Kamada, that's not offside. He was behind the halfway line. That guy can't catch up. Kamada, it's 3-0. We are through. I would say we are through into the quarterfinals of the Europa League. And with that, we are kicking out one of the biggest clubs historically out of a European competition, AC Milan. You cannot stop this attack right now. I'm telling you, you had your chance. You bottled it massively. I won't. When I'm in a position like that with someone like Kamada, it's going to be a goal. Ah, oh, come on, Johnny. Got to be doing better than this. Nah, man. Come on. No. Ah, oh, we concede one. Milan is still in it. And I think it's the same guy that was skilling before. It's Brahim. Okay, that makes sense. He's the one that skilled unnecessarily. And I guess he kind of made up for it now. But I think the momentum of the game would have been different if he did score earlier on. Now it's only 3-1. Which means we can't just sim past this next game. If we do simulate against AC Milan, we got to watch the simulation because they could easily score two goals. Uh, there's no away goal rule, so we got to be very careful here unless I can score one more. Kamada, no, we can't get that done. Anyways, that is it. I mean, that leaves a sour taste in my mouth, but it is a 3-1 victory for our team. We have done well away from home. I'm proud of this squad for this massive win. And Kevin Trapp came up with an incredible save in this one. Hey, the Morato scout report has come in now, which is obviously one of the players that you guys suggested. 75 rated, 11.5 million in his value. So uh, that's something that we need to keep in mind as we do move forward. Now, Bayern Munich have won their game, of course course is anyone surprised i don't think anyone is i think for the menu parts though we should put ourselves into the bottom right corner why not love that transition <laughs> let's go ahead and play this against bohum i am expecting a victory tuta up to a 78 guys see we gave him the trust and he's paying us back and kevin trap again having a great season so far and dika up to an 83 rating uh they are playing an interesting formation here bohum so let's see how this one goes this is us Getting a 2-1 win. Kamada steps up 84th minute. And Bore, of course, he couldn't go without scoring one of these games. Rafael Santos Bore now on, I believe, 16, 17 goals. I will double check in a second. But let's sim forward to the AC Milan game first. So the top scorers in the uh, Bundesliga, if I can get there anytime. Parejo top scorer in the Champions League. Interesting. Oh, no, not red cards. Nabri. Nabri is the top scorer. And then when it comes to the Bundesliga, please, can I see it? It is Bore. 21 goals in 26. Oh, wow. I was completely wrong. Lewandowski is six goals behind our striker. Sane, Nabri, Leva, all in the top five. No wonder that team is up there, man. They are just beating everyone. So Frankfurt against Milan. Uh, we're going to be watching the simulation. So up to an, a, an 81. And I've just seen Arsnes has gone up to a, a 78 as well. So good things happening for our team. 
as we step into this match right here. I will let you know if something happens. 25 minutes in, AC Milan dominating the possession, but haven't been able to take a shot yet. It seems like every time they get into our box, one of our central defenders is getting the ball off of them, which is great, or at least blocking the shots. So, um, so far, defensively, very, very strong. Possession-wise, we are looking terrible, I assume. 83% possession on AC Milan. That is unreal. They just hit the post. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This game is actually dangerous. You got to be very careful here, guys. Love that. Come on. Nah, that's not good enough. That pass is not good enough. The first half is going to be over here in a second. I assume we will step it up in the second half because less than 23% possession. That would be some surprise, wouldn't it? Horrible. Horrible first half. Honestly, these boys need to step it up, man. Oh, they might score here. Is that going in or is Kevin Trapp making a save? I think he makes a save. Come on, Trapp. No, it goes past him. It's 3-2. Uh, it's Jens Peter Hauge as well. Guys, the guy that we have let go back to his team from his loan deal, or the man that he has actually that they actually recalled, now scored against us. Now that is painful. And since it is now only 3-2 on aggregate, I have to step in here and do some damage control. So let me try my best. I like these AC Milan kits, by the way. Remind me of the Liverpool ones. I see a run being made. It's a good run. It's a good header. Ah. Maybe not. Zlatan up against Tuta. Of course, Zlatan wins that battle. He's just too good in the air, despite his age. There's, there's no way we stop him in that moment. But AC Milan building up slowly, still struggling to get any type of possession going for our team. 62 minutes in. Milan again with a great ball down the wing. Is that mine? Yes, it is. I cannot keep a hold of it, though. Now I can. Tuta. I see someone down the right side. Lindström, horrible pass. Absolutely woeful. No wonder our possession stat is that low. We can't keep the ball at our feet. We can't retain possession. This is unreal. Look at that run. Now they have an option in the center. I'm going to force him to shoot. And from that angle, Kevin Trapp, I trust in. Oh, come on. I might be through here. He has that pace. Lindström at the far post. No. Mele picks it up, though. Come on, Mele. Yes, Mele. Inside, Lindstrom is open. He finishes it. Are you kidding me? That's the Mike Magnol I expected to be up against. And he makes that ridiculous save. I don't like that. I don't like that. We're up against Leipzig after this game, it seems. That's our next fixture. It just showed there. I'm going to force him to the... I wanted to force AC Milan to the outside, but I cannot believe I'm saying this. They are back into it. It's 3-3 on aggregate now. AC Milan is actually in it to win it now. Oh my God. I got to make a change. I have to make a change. And I'm going to make that change that I had done before as well. I think I'm going to go Lindstrom on the left wing, where he actually gets an upgrade in his rating, I just realized. And Kolomwani coming on as a center attacking mid slash center forward. And in that defense, it seems like we're lacking a bit of pace. So I'm going to bring, bring on Friedel. He takes over for Hinteregger, who is a bit tired. And uh, I think I'm going to keep the rest the way it is, even though I don't really feel comfortable, I'll have to admit. Oh, no. 90 plus one. Don't do this to me now. It's Zlatan in the center again. Oh, they're going to get a free kick out of this, aren't they? What the hell just happened? Has another free kick? Endika, thank you. All right, we're going into extra time, boys. Did not believe that would happen, but it is happening as we speak. AC Milan, two games. First one, completely different story from this one, that's for sure. <sighs> Come on, please. Tuta, they're going to score again. Oh, no, he didn't. Unbelievable. How did Zlatan not score there? Unbelievable scenes as Zlatan misses the one goal for AC Milan to go through into the next round. Incredible. Bore being chased by Kessie finds Kamada. Kamada to Kolomoani. Great turn. He has options in the center. Finds Kamada again. Kamada. Great dribbling. Tomori's chasing him. Another pass. Another pass. Another pass. A finish. I wanted Moani to take that shot, man. I really did. But hey, it is what it is. The first half of extra time is over. 
I tried my best. Let's do it again. Second half begins. Oh, man, I wonder what's going to happen here. Am I going to be good enough? Am I going to be strong enough to beat this AC Milan team? Or will they put a dagger right through my heart? Please, AC. I like you guys. Don't do this to me. I've been following you. Oh, no. This is going to go in, isn't it? Yep, I knew it. Zlatan is going to kick us out of the Europa League, man. Zlatan freaking Ibrahimovic, man. Unreal. 110 minutes into the game. And we are now actually 3-0 down to AC Milan. How crazy is that, by the way? I need to score one, one goal now in these remaining 10 minutes for us to have a chance to get into penalty shootouts. Unreal. From having such a massive advantage to going down to this is actually very saddening. Kolomani inside the box no options just just pure sadness ac milan inside the box three players surrounding him he still finds the perfect pass this is so annoying what the tuta tuta yes kolomani kolomani bore down the center rafael santos bore last split second in the game yes yes bore he takes us into penalties oh Yes! How are they not tracking the run of this man? How can you let this man run through on target? I need some water. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Kolo Moani comes on and gets the crucial assist to take us into penalties. Now, that doesn't mean anything. We can lose this easily. Magnon is an incredible goalkeeper. I need to be very careful with my penalty shots here. Come on. Boris seems to be a great penalty taker. Green time, let's go. Come on. That's the first one in. Kevin Trapp. Kessie is an amazing penalty taker. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly. Kamada. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm somewhat scared. I don't know why. Let's go. Green timed. Okay. Ibrahimovic. Left. And then I'm going to go right. Oh, wow. That is a perfect pen. I'm going to miss at some point here, man. I don't have that many great penalty takers. Whoa. That was dodgy. Tonali, now in the game. Tonali goes bottom, not bottom, goes just middle right. I hate that. Muani, that's a bad pen. That's a bad pen. It's a yellow time pen, man, and it still goes in. I'll take it. Ante Rebic, Ante Rebic. Can I finally make a save? The former Frankfurt player misses it. And if I score now with my favorite center back, Tuta, we are through. Tuta. Tuta. Oh my god, what is that circle? What the hell is going on with this controller, man? It's broken, I swear to god. Pierre. Kevin Trapp. Kevin Trapp. Kevin freaking Trapp. What a man. <laughs> Come on. Unbelievable. Oh, mate. Celebrating right in front of Ante Rebic. Simon Kier. Or Simon Kier. He messes it up. On the penalty shootout, Trap waits for the last two to start making saves. Incredible game. What an intense matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of that one because you're not going to see more competitive career mode gameplay than that right there. I loved it. Honestly, mate, that game was just nuts. I loved it. Uh, that's what, that's, those are the moments where I enjoy career mode the most, honestly. It well and truly is. Uh, what other position changes do we have here? Oh, Chandler. Yes, that was an important one. Center back. Look at that. Look at that. Plus three. Let's go. So Chandler now becomes an actual good backup on that center back position instead of Ilzanka. I like that a lot. Uh, let's not forget that we have Mavardashvili. We have Ilzanka and we also have Lenz as actual okay options off the bench. Obviously, Mamardashvili only comes into play when we desperately need him in that main team. But for the reserves, he's big. Chandler there. Um, have I put together a reserves team? I think I have, right? Yeah, let's let's see. Um, that Mamardashvili needs to be in there, of course. And then Kolo Moani, I would like to put up top. So then it would look like this. Kamada plays there, which I don't want. So I don't want in there. I don't really have... I mean, yeah, I do have Rustic. So that's perfect. He would be good for that team. Is there anyone else I'm missing here? Isanka, Friedel, Lenz, Schröder. 
I don't think I'm missing anyone. I mean, I could put Chandler in as a right back, which probably would be better than whoever that was there. And uh, that's even better. He only gets a minus two. So I guess that would be okay if we ever wanted to play it like that. It is a decent enough reserves team, I would say. Pretty happy with that. Now, that's not the team that's going to play against Leipzig, though. We're up against Leipzig now, who are eighth in the league. I want to see how this team does against a team like Leipzig without me controlling them. So here's me taking a high risk. See how it goes. Macias is playing for them in a the center midfield position. It's not good enough. Lindstrom. Lindstrom with the double. What a man. What a talent. He steps up when Bode for once doesn't score. That's great to see, lads. So we are getting through Leipzig. Look at that. Look at that. First in the league. Our goal difference is much worse than Bayern Munich. But I am so proud of this team. We are actually first right now. And we are at the beginning of April now. Is there a way for Frankfurt to actually win the title already? How insane would that be? Lindstrom 79, So 81, Osnes 8, 78, Sessegnon up to an 80. I'm seeing a lot of great growth in this team. And here it goes with the next one. Reuter Fürth. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, man. They're 17th in the league. We are on great form. That's just ridiculous. Wait. I'm up against Gerstepe. Really? Arsenal want Lens. Really? <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? This is... Some madness is going on in the background. The coding must have been broken down because why am I seeing offers from Sporting and also from, <laughs> from Arsenal for Lens? This is crazy. I need him as a backup, so I'm not selling him right now. Um, but we are through into the quarterfinals against Gerstepe who have somehow beaten Braga 3-2. I mean, I guess Braga is the worst team in there, technically. Uh, I, I mean, after Gerstepe. But uh, congratulations to them. This is going to be the easiest quarterfinals on paper. We'll see how it goes. We got a great draw. And uh, we're going to test them out next time. Guys, I enjoyed myself a lot. Thank you very much once again for tuning in. Thank you as always. Leave your comments down below when this episode airs so I can use them for the next episode. So give me any news when it comes to football, some madness that has happened during the international break, anything. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll try and go ahead and respond to it and discuss it in the videos. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you next time. Take care and peace.